If you own a mechanical keyboard, one of the most annoying things you may encounter are ticking or rattly spacebars and modifier keys. And just like me, you've probably went through YouTube in search of a solution, seeing some popular mods such as the Holy Mod, which involves band-aids, and also the Epsilon Mod, which uses desk key gasket films. But you're seeing all these videos and you're just not quite sure which one is the best. The way the Holy Mod works is by getting a band-aid and cutting it thin enough so that it may fit into the stem housings of the stabilizers, as shown by Himaji in this video. The issue I have with this is that your stabilizers might feel mushy in the end due to the sticky nature of the bandage itself and the bandage you're using might be too thick. There's also the Band-Aid Wrap Mod, which requires a waterproof band-aid or anything with a thin enough adhesive material so that you can wrap them around the stabilizer wire legs. This is important to thicken the legs and this makes up for the unevenness in the stabilizer wires. But I wasn't a fan of any of the mods I've listed so far or didn't have materials such as the waterproof band-aid to perform the Band-Aid Wrap Mod. However, I did really like the idea of wrapping the stabilizer legs, so I went searching around my home and found PTFE tape, or more commonly known as plumber's tape. I initially overlooked this completely as I was mainly looking for more commonly used items such as masking tape or regular tape. And by the way, those don't work because they're too thick. And you can find plumber's tape at a Home Depot or any of your local hardware stores for about one to three dollars depending on the brand and the type of plumber's tape. And even though I thought I just invented a new stabilizer mod, it unfortunately isn't the case as I found that there has already been others in the past that have made posts or mentioned the use of it, with one of the oldest mentions being in 2013. Here I have some plumber's tape. Mine in particular is colored white, which means it's general purpose and meant for water pipes. It's less dense and thick compared to its yellow counterpart, which is meant for gas lines. And this is why I recommend you getting this white plumber's tape over all the other variants to ensure that you're not making your stabilizer wires too thick and it won't fit into the stem. And you're gonna wanna cut out a small enough piece of plumber's tape so that you may loop it one and a half to two times around the stabilizer legs. When you're wrapping the tape around the stabilizers, make sure you're doing it as tight as possible. And towards the end, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to twist it in the same direction as you were looping it to make sure that there's less of a chance that it'll unravel at any point in the future. Then to check if it's too thick or not, you're going to want to place the stabilizers into the stabilizer stems and see if there is any movement or if you're having difficulty putting it in to the first place. In my case, I wrapped it around too thick, but I just kept repeatedly putting it into the stabilizer stems to try to conform it in a way that it can move more freely inside the stem. But ideally, you want to wrap it just enough so it's not too tight nor too loose in the stem. After wrapping both ends of your stabilizers, you're going to lube them as you normally would. Here, I'm using Crytox 205 Grade Zero as my choice of lube. I know there's going to be questions and comments regarding the lifespan of the plumber's tape. Typically, plumber's tape is not meant for constant abuse of movement, as it will be constantly be movement in the stabilizers. I'm not quite sure how long it'll last before the plumber's tape will start to tear and bunch up away from the areas of movement, as I've only used it for a week so far and have had no issues. What I can tell you is that it does withstand the pressure and also the sharpness of the threads when attaching a water spout to the water line, from my experience, as it conforms very well to the threads itself. It's also great that the plumber's tape is made of PTFE, which has low coefficient of friction, so you don't have to worry about having to feel much resistance compared to the use of band-aids in the stabilizers unless you wrap the tape around too thick.
Thank you so much for watching. Your results may vary, but hopefully this tutorial works out for you.